today's lesson, we're going to be going over the count primes algorithm. The question is, count the number of prime numbers less than a non-negative number n. For example, if you were inputted 10, your output should be 4 since there are 4 prime, four prime numbers less than 10, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So the definition of a prime number is a positive integer with no factors other than 1 and itself. So to check if a number is prime, a simple solution would be to check if it is divisible by any number between 1 and itself. For example, if we wanted to check if 25 is prime, we're going to check if it is divisible by any number between 2 and 24. 25 isn't divisible by 2, 3, or 4, but it is divisible by 5. So that means that this is not a prime number. Ultimately, for any number, you're going to continue dividing it till you find a factor that is divisible. And if no factor is found, that means that the number is prime. So you may have noticed that the previous solution was pretty repetitive and would have probably taken quite a bit of time since you were checking if every single number is divisible by the number that you were given. Now, a better solution would be to eliminate all even numbers in the very beginning, since all even numbers are divisible by 2, thus they are not prime. By doing this, you would only be checking if a number is divisible by odd numbers. So, for example, if we were checking if 25 is a prime number, we would only have to check if it is divisible by 3 and then 5 before getting our answer, as compared to our previous solution where we were checking if it is divisible by 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, while our previous solution was better than our very first solution, it still can take quite a bit of time for large numbers. We can reach a more optimal solution by realizing that the largest divisor of a number is the square root of that number. Because of this point, we no longer have to check if a number is divisible by every odd factor between 3 and itself. We now only have to check if a number is divisible by odd numbers up to its square root. For example, if we are checking if 83 is a prime number, we no longer have to check if it is divisible by 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on, all the way up to 83. We know that the square root of 83 is between 9 and 10, so we only have to check if it is divisible by the odd numbers up to 9. 83 is not divisible by 3, 5, 7, or 9, so it is in fact a prime number. So now that we know the basic logic behind figuring out whether or not a number is prime, all we have to do is iterate through each number from 2 all the way up to n and count the number of numbers that are prime. We're going to begin by checking if n is less than or equal to 2, in which case there are going to be no prime numbers. We're also going to set a counter that is basically going to count the number of prime numbers that we have. We've now created a for loop that's going to iterate through each number all the way from 2 up to n, and we've also initiated a boolean that basically checks whether or not this particular number is prime. Now as you know, even numbers are not prime, so this if statement is just checking if the number is divisible by 2, and if it is, we know that it is not prime. And in the case that the number isn't even, we're going to check if it is prime. We're going to do this by seeing if it is divisible by any odd factor all the way from 3 up to the square root of that number. Now at the very end, we're going to see if the number is prime or if it isn't prime. And in the case that it is prime, we're going to increment our counter by 1. And finally, we're going to return counter. When we run this code, there we go. It works. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped. I'm going to be making many more videos and tutorials on different Python and Java algorithms. So if you're preparing for an interview or you're just practicing coding, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below.